I say N of shell script. Yeah, that's the N of a shell. You copy all to do that in the. Yes, yes, yeah. I would I've actually send you the full script. Then you make, as a matter of fact, yeah, I'll send it to you. Then you try to make one yourself. So one, two, three. So then number four. Check your email. Or file system. Yes. Yeah, let me do a file system if the script was created and emailed. So with that, I have done all of that. I'm down here already. So I'm going to run that script. Then I check my email right now and see. So just do that. Hit that. And it says, um, hmm. Do you have mud installed? Hmm? Do you have mud on there? Ooh, 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 it looks like this. What? Ah, I don't have mud. Yes. Actually, Mozilla has installed mud and removed it. So, just one quick second, I can install mod in a uh, flash. In one quick second, there is some tiny little mod I have to, a program I have to install for us to use in doing that. So, it is uh, just a second, I have some scripts. You type mod. Uh, install just one second. How to configure mod? We just install some tiny little uh, the application that we need. It's not there. And for me to install anything on Linux, it must become a root. So I would do this: switch user minus. Once you do that, it means you want to become root. I enter the root password and I see there I am root. And if I run that, that should download and install the application that I need. Once that is installed, uh, let me see, let me see. Hmm. Searching for it, searching for it. So let me go to my other machine. Which other machine do I have with that thing installed on it? Da -da ding, ding, ding. No, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, once I download that, then we are good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I rolled back that machine the other day. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was giving some unnecessary problems. I know, yeah, the machine is kind of corrupt. You have some people who know a little bit too much around. Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting that, though. There are some people mess around in there, seriously. So I've installed that little program called MUT. I will just do one or two more things to it. Zeus, remember, it's that MUT that we were missing. Mm -hmm. Just a second, I'm editing some, oops, something on my site. What that has to do is no one here for, for the editing and so on. Yes. Just a second. Just fix some tiny little thing here. You know, with computers, guys, one thing you should learn about computers is you cannot do it all alone. You must work with other people. 
Roll. That's yes. When you say roll back, when you, when you roll back, what happened? Roll back, uh, you undo all the changes. That's what roll back means? Yes. So like setting uh, it back to default or something? Yes, like means you go back to... Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's what rollback is in database, in everything you'll find. You always hear of rollback, rollback, rollback. Yeah, rollback is like undo. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly like undo. Okay. Okay, so we. Do you, do you back off before you roll back? Huh? Do you do any back off before you roll back? Um, yeah, it sometimes is good too. Okay. What was what is that password for that thing? Oracle one one. Uh, ah, you know what? Uh sick. Mm -hmm. mm. What the year? Okay, I just installed it, so it should be there. But I need to wait, 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 wait. CD dot mut. Okay, let me just do it all over. Yeah, I think now she run it, she go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This. You install. Did you make the directories and stuff? It's all physical. Eh? It is all physical. No. Bro. Make yes, yeah. I think I, I wasn't doing the right thing. I had to make minus P. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Make minus P. Okay, that's what I need. I need to do another one. And let me see if that directory exists. And the other one, the other one. Yes. So let's see. Uh, so then I want to see number one if there was a file inside. PWD.mod. Okay, there was no file. So, hey Zeus, when I roll back the machine, that's what we had lost. The, the mod that you had installed. Just a second. I am here now. I'm going to do touch. Did we do the touch command, guys? Anybody? No such file. No, we file. Do the dash command. Yeah, you, you didn't make the certificates one yet. We did not do the touch command. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you got you gotta do the make directory. Yeah, yeah, I did that already. So now I should do VI. Now I'm in a totally different user now. That's how come I'm I have to do one by one, otherwise it's copy and paste. So after I do that, copy the thing, come back here, I for insert, paste it in the colon WQ, and then moth is almost ready. Let me see, what else do I do? Did that or I have to do some renaming, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I must do. Could you redo, uh, re explain touch command? Please? Yes. Touch command, you can make a file. Touch makes a file with zero sides. Touch. You make a file, but that file has no sides in it. Thank you. Oh. Yes. Do we have a copy of the VI text editor thing? I can't see it anywhere. The 
the note on the CI editor. Mm, 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 mm. Just hold on one second, this is something. Here. Why, 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 why? Quit to enter. Control C, I'm stuck. Escape colon Q. Try Escape Q. colon Q bang. Mm. Ah, you know why? I entered the wrong command. I wanted to do this. I had to do MV. You have to rename that file. Mm -hmm. Then now, if I do mod, yes, mod should work now. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's what I needed. Sorry, guys. So, let me just go back to the little script and then we can finish SQL and then we'll look back at the VI thing. So when you finish this class, at least you know some VI, you know a little bit of SQL. So in the first place, let me go back to where were we? Yeah, this is the script board. See, we're writing a tiny little script here. And I think I was writing in the wrong place, so I'm gonna do it all over. So now I'm gonna do VI. So guys, if you watch here, I don't have, oh, I have it here. PWD, who am I? I'm Oracle. So let me take out that script that I have just to make sure. So I do VI. I create me a script. Empty, there's nothing in it. Hit I for insert. Then I written my script already and it starts from there to here. So copy that line, come here and I insert. And escape colon W Q. Oops, I see something that is going to make it fail. Something I did not teach you guys, which everybody should write down now, is the comment sign. So I'll do colon Q bang, means I don't want to save. The colon, guys, if you put something like this, that is just a comment. I have to comment it so Linux will not read it. That's a comment. So Linux is going to skip that line because it's just my a comment for me, a reminder. So if I come back here, I for insert, paste that, escape, colon, W, Q. What is that now? Escape, colon, W, Q. Good. I type LL, my script is, where's my script? Am I going crazy? PWD. Where is the script I just made? I thought I made a script. Ah, I had VI it twice. It VI. So it's there. So the script is there, but it is now called VI. You guys yeah. see that? Uh, so I'll simply say MV. So it's going to change that thing. If I do that now, VI is gone and my script is there. So let's check to see if the script is for there for, there for real. Yes, yeah. it's right there. So now, guys, let's... I want you guys to watch this. So now if I do period forward slash show. No, chain mode, chain mode. No, I just want to show them this. If I do period forward slash and I enter that script name, it's going to tell me that permission denied. Because if you look at the permissions here, there's no execute. And that is why I need to do change mode like here. So if I run that now, and I type LL again, you notice now that I have execute. So if I repeat that command, that script run. And my moment of truth is I should see a text file with that name if I type LL, LL. Yay, worked. And let me see what's inside that text file. Do that. Yay, worked mm -hmm. well. Guys, believe it or not, I got all my 139 students' names in there. You see? So it worked very well. Now, hey, Zoom, did you find out about encrypting column? There's no one common that can do like to. No, I just want to show it Oh, set up a whole thing. I thought there was uh, that. Uh, 
because that's what I could have loved to do here. So now look at that one column. What is that? Maybe. Well, look at that one too. You guys know why? Oh, the size. Yes. So that is phone number. Why would the phone number do that? Because so some people have foreign phone numbers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we we'll have foreign phone numbers. I know what, and I intentionally increased by, um, I made it, see, for example, if I type describe student, describe, oh, I'm not locked in. Must be in SQL, guys. Just one second. So I type SQL plus BT slash BT. So if I log in and I do describe student and I look at the phone number, phone number, I made it 11. Mm -hmm. But what is it showing us? It, let me see here. I mean, that phone number was way longer than 11. Mm -hmm. Maybe like 20. Yes. So it got truncated. So I'm going to look at that student's data and see. Why? Yes. Yeah, probably got uh, truncated. What happens if we try to make that number different? What was that thing called? Was it called cell phone? Guys, watch that. Do I have cell phone here? No. I'll do call. Cell phone. Guys, watch this. Cell phone is not A when you format it. When you format a number column, so you guys will come to learn this now. You use but 9999999 dot. No, don't do 9999. I want you guys to watch something. So I'm going to run that. I'm in there. So do that. Then I'm going to do, let's do just, uh, yeah, we just run that, just run that host thing again. We run that whole thing. And my SQL statement. Want to see if we still have those mistakes. Oh, it's still there. So it probably failed during the insert, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. But during the insert, it did not have enough space to put the data. Mm -hmm. Some people have inserted their names. I did use SQL Loader to load this data in here. I could reload that data like in one second. Those who did insert, be ready to do your insert again. I want you guys to just watch this a little bit. How I loaded the data inside this thing. I used something we call SQL Loader. As the user oracle, guys, here, if you notice, ID, ID shows you who you are connected as. I'm connected as Oracle. As you can even see right here. See, by my prompt, I type LL. I have some bunch of files here. I loaded the data in here last night. So what I can do right now is to reload that data in that table. And I changed that. And I want you guys to all watch. Let's all see how I uh, try to fix that problem. Often as a DBA, you may be confronted to do things like this sometimes. So with that, let me get my script that I created the table. This is the script that I used in creating the table last night. When I created a table, I had cell phone. And how come I have 10 here? Hold on. Did I just see 11 here? Was it 11? No, I think it was 10. 11. Yeah, it looked like 11. It was 11. Describe student. Ah, and I made it VACA. Did you notice that? Yeah, you gotta make a number. Yes. 
Normally, it should be a number. But if I change it now, I have to go to my control file and fix it. Yeah, what tool is what is the top? So normally, a cell phone guy should be a number, which means something like this. I would, I would comment out that line, and I would do it with a number. So this thing should be number. And it should be number, what's a long? Like 20. 20, okay, for our people who are coming from outside. Yeah, just in case. Okay. So if I do number here, good. But my curiosity is why did I have it? Hold on. Just want to make sure I, I, is, I didn't, I'm not using a different, ooh, 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 ooh. hold on, hold on. Okay, I see now. I think I am messing around with a different script. Just one second. One second. That's not a script I used yesterday. Because looking at that thing, I knew something is not right. Just one second, guys. If I don't see it, I'll just let it go because troubleshooting things like that can take a long time. Uh -huh. um, yes. Because see, I have the table here now twice. You see that? Uh -huh. That makes me to believe, okay, something is not right. And let me do this. Let me cancel out that saving. Just want to make sure. Let me save, check on my other side where I have the thing. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I find the script. Yeah, this is the script I use. Great. This is the actual script that I use. And cell phone 11. Yes. It's VACA. Yes, I made it VACA. And I did check cell phone, cell phone like. So it should be number from that. But see, with that check, right, you cannot enter a wrong number. So here, as a matter of fact, anyway, I'll change just one thing. So if it gets bad, if I broke it, I'll come back and come fix it. So I type number. As he said, maybe let's do number. Is it? I tried. I did that long. Just you never know. Yeah. Then. Yes. So if I do that, that's it. Then I'll go enter the thing and I see what gets broken. So guys, so it's just for me to run this tiny little script here. It will drop that table and recreate that table for me. No, let me log in first. Boom. No, 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 I'm in already. So I will do, if I run that script, it should drop that table for me. So that table is gone. Then for my SQL loader, let me see if I still have it in memory. Yep, this is it in memory. SQL loader user ID, that's one of the script. So if I run that, let me see what it gives me. 120 rows loaded, it's supposed to be 126. Does it filter out some rows right now? So watch that. Logical count, so it drops some rows. Because when I had it with VACA, it will load more, more rows. Then let me run my, there are two of them, there are two files. April 2019. Okay, that's another class. 16 rows loaded, that one is okay. So, but for your class, that has dropped off a bunch of people. So, mm. just hold on. Let me fix it out. I'll, I'll drop that again and run it so you, you guys see what I'm talking about. If I drop it and I change this back to... to Vaca 2. Change that number to Vaca 2. Drop that table. In other words, guys, 
My script starts from there, drop the table, recreate and then exit. So if I do that, boom, I'm exited. I can repeat that command. Let me do this. Uh, what is that? Is that April 2019? Yes. So 17 records loaded now. You see that? Yeah. Then let me run the other one for May. 119 records loaded instead of 120. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm using email as my primary key and, and the, somebody is here whose email was up here. Mm. That, that's why that happened, I know. Hmm. So it's about the same number of rows. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just hang on one second. Let me change this back. I think I'll leave it the way it was with number. Yep, I'll leave it with number. That's easy. I'm just because a phone number should be number, not the, the VACA thing. So let me log back in, do that. Uh, then I'll do a uh, select. Nope. Load those guys. 20, 20 rows lock, loaded. Mm -hmm. And there's another one. April. Yeah. Load that one. Now 16 instead of 17. So we are good back exactly where we were. So, hey, some of you have inserted your information because I did not have it. Can you just insert that back in there for me? You should have it saved somewhere. If you just insert that. So, like, if I run this statement now. Oops. So, if I log in again and I run that insert. Should give me all the information. Yes, now it's exact because I did that. Okay, so I think that's cool. I'll leave with that. I'm losing, I'm missing a few people, but that's okay. I can, I can deal with that later on. So now, oh, let me check my email. If I did got my email, then I'll give you guys. You guys write a report, and you. Where was it sending my thing to BI Tech? BI Tech, BI Tech. Let me check. Uh, this is where that thing was supposed to send me an email to. Sending the email to BI Tech 97. Yes. Supposed to send an email to BI Tech 97. Hmm. How come I didn't get that email? Let me just check that email again. Then I'll send it to you guys and everybody will try to do the same thing. Because this, this thing here should run by itself. I can run this script all by itself. So if I do that, it should not give me... Okay, now I see. Fail to send a message. What? Just one second, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. One, give me two more minutes. If I don't solve it, then I stop that little exercise and we, I think I do test something else with you guys. What? Why should that fail? SMTP, fail. Yep. It doesn't give me a good one. Could not send message. Uh, what didn't he like? SMTP sessions fail. Hmm. The type mod. Okay, locks me in. So it's it's locking in well. Mm -hmm. Okay. It locks me in well. Let me test. Uh, let me do, I have a tiny little test I can do. Prof, you see, it, 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 gives, it gives you HTTPS, something that you can, mm -hmm. can you go to that HTTPS to see what the error is, maybe? Hmm. 
it's taking me so far. <laughs> Yeah, just one second. Let me let me check something here. It worked the other day. So I didn't do it right, Mazu. Let me test this with uh yes, just one second. I've got to test this with my other email. Yeah, let me do that. That one line. Okay, it works. Mm -hmm. Just now I need to see what doesn't it like. Maybe it doesn't like my echo. Yep, I know somebody the other day reminded me that why don't I put that in double quotes? Mm -hmm. Put that in double quotes. That may be what it doesn't like. Yes, I bet you. What? Not that even. So the other email that I sent, let me see. Did it come? I sent that to my Gmail. Or is there something wrong with the with the Gmail? Mm. No. Try to test that seek from me and let me see. Uh Okay. Uh, let me see. Echo. This this where my was well, that way wrong. Even right. This way. So, see this one down here works. So if I add uh, minus, what is that? I just wanted to attach that file to it. Maybe. Maybe the name of that file is not good. See, so if I just add that there, it's supposed to work also. Ah, that's the thing. It doesn't like, uh, let me see, LL. Doesn't like that file name. See, this minus attach that it doesn't like. Hmm. Okay, cannot attach. So we're going to do something different. Forget that. We're going to do, I'll change that thing and it will do it more like this. Instead of doing the minus attach, we are going to do, we're going to read that file into the email. Yeah. So I'll take that off. It will change that with this guy. And then there'll be this one is gone. Yep. So if I do that, it should work for everybody. I copy that and I put that. In. And run that. Then I give you guys and then each person will make a shell script. Yes. But the bing. That should go. Okay, we will not attach. So I'll cut this off and I take that out. And that's supposed to send an email to. Now. Okay, I'll send this, I'll send you guys this script. I would do, I will not put it in the group. I would actually save it as a script and I send it to you guys. Then each person will do it and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Let me save it as a shell script, guy, just a second. Sir, I uh, if, if I do that and you, uh, I replaced this email uh, with my yes, with email. your own. Okay, okay. Share script to send. Share script to get names of. I'll say 
names. Students, classmates, and send by email. Okay. So I just I'll just make a tiny little script that I can give you guys. Copy this, paste it inside, save it, then drop it in the group. Get the script. All right, there we go. End of script. So save, and in the class group, I will put this. And there we go. Oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Email it to myself. Uh, what is that thing? May or May class. So, guys. So, this is it. It's coming. So, everybody, download that script. Open it up edit it and make your own shell script following those four steps where did you send it to uh class group okay the free class group so remember download open edit you're going to do so this kind of makes you practice almost everything we have done in class hands-on Just go online. Yeah. Take this. Don't miss any names for your students. Huh? So look at the names online. Then you will see the name there. You can search through that other thing. You can search through the, uh, the long list. Why didn't my script work? And guys, everyone make the script with your name. Change my name. Don't leave, don't leave my name there. The script where it says Cho, put your name. So that nobody's script will be like the other person. That's the whole thing. So nobody should make a script like the other person's own. So VI, you remember, using VI. So that's our last practice of VI. So use it to do something uh, beneficial. If that trouble, let me know. Mister, I am lost. <laughs> we are making a script to VI. Did you get the file? Uh, yeah. Remember. Are you, don't tell me you're using, are you using Zoom, are you using WhatsApp on your desktop or your phone? No, 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 it's my, yes, I, I find in my, my, uh, your download. <laughs> desktop, <laughs> desktop. <laughs> uh, wait a second, I just to find <laughs> the, I, yes. 
I'm not just to 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 co to copy just to begin with the V, my name, students, or with your name, co, uh, Cho. You change every place where you see, the, where you see Cho. Put, uh, put the Nanga or whatever. I just replaced, uh, replaced yeah. every Cho. Every place where you see Cho, I replace think. it with your name. Okay. And Before I you start to go do VI. Okay. I uh, my name student may yes. okay Hey, Prof, can you talk about cron tab too after this? Yes. So, <laughs> want to see who has done it. Anybody? Mm. Nobody yet. Am I in the right place? Yeah. Mr. After I copy set line in in the insert V high. Oh yes, this is not copy, copy. Copy, not copy. You you copy, copy. all the way. Okay, yes. sorry, copy. Yes, you you copy all the way from from what it says uh, script example. Copy yeah, yeah, I see, I see. I just ask. Yes, when you copy, there you go. You go insert inside. Oh, the I co I copy the, with the end of shell script. Yes, uh, script yes. Example. Copy that whole thing. Uh huh. Okay, I can do that. Then you go to VI. You put it inside VI. Okay. Yeah, Prof. Yeah. So after after doing the editing, we run it. Uh, we insert it in VI, right? Mm -hmm. We insert it in VI, and then uh, then we change mode, then execute. Okay. Oh man. Uh, professor, could you could you do it one more time on the screen? Okay. Um. Let me. Okay, guys. Let me do that one more time. I am Cho star. Remove every file Cho. Why do I have mail there? R M R F mail. Okay. Can you send this? Yeah. Okay. So it's like this. What I want you guys to do in Nanga, watch here again. I'll copy this. V I show because I want to make a file with that name. Hit enter. Oops. It says that because somebody has it open. So I have it open some other place. That's why. But I won't worry about it. I'll just say open. Mm, edit. Let me pick the edit one. Okay. I'm inside my file. I'm very correct. Yeah. But I'll come back here and I copy my script. That is my shell script. Pick it up. Okay. And as a matter of fact, oop, 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 you know what? We I think we can even just do the whole thing. Just hang on. <laughs> 
Let me try both. You can do you can do that whole thing. Let me test it now again and see. So I do that whole thing. Come here. Hit I for insert. Make sure I see insert down here. Then I right click my mouse and I paste. And hit enter just to make sure I'm clean. But I see there, I know my email is not correct, so I'm going to correct that. I'll go back, back, GA. That's my real email. And I do colon WQ. I save and quit. Then I quit. Now if I type LL, I see my script there. But I need to change mode to make it executable. That is when now I come back here and I copy my change mode. Come back here, paste it, hit enter, LL. You see now it's green because it has execute here. Okay. Now to execute it, I enter period, forward slash. That's how I execute scripts in Linux. And I hit C and I hit the tab key. It prints it all for me. Now I hit enter. It will log inside SQL, run the script, come back outside. See, so it made this file for me. And let me see why it says send. Let me see, what, let me see what's inside send for me. Just one second. Oh, it's saying I send. This is what it sent, huh? Let me see if it failed. I think it worked. Yeah, I think so. I would think it worked. Yes. So that's it. So then I'm done. Okay, prof. That's the whole thing. Make sure you change that email to your email, right? Change the name to your name. Prof, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I just want to understand what, what the script is saying to see if I'm making any error. You said to go create a BI in my name, BI uh, file, with the statement uh, BI Bower. Listen, I want you to edit everything here before you go do anything, please. Yes, I did. O open this file everywhere where you see my name. Only yes, I did. It. Okay. And I did. I understand that part. I did. But I want to understand what exactly we're doing. That folder that we're creating, uh, do, do we have to insert content into it? We're not creating any folder. In the, the VI, you insert what VI you see. is just, VI is an editor. means you want to make a file with that name. Okay. Use VI to make a file. Yes, I did. I made a file with my name. Then, when you do VI, you copy this whole thing and put inside VI. Okay. This whole thing. Yes. As long as I come down all the way, I think I should, uh, I should have even taken this out. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. That should even be down here, I think. That's down there, that will still be cool. But that makes your whole script. That is one full script. But just run it the way you are and then uh, make sure you, if you can, include the insert line. Now, making sure your email address was changed. Do that and let's see if it works. Okay, all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that is VI. That's how you test VI. Nobody has it yet. Uh, mister? Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, that email is working. You can send you the email. Yeah, I do I do the insert, but, mm -hmm. but after the insert, after copy. After I copy and insert everything, yes. now do uh, colon WQ. 
Remember okay, to okay, exit. Okay. You're trying to exit. To exit, instead. to exit, I exit that, the colon Q, uh, yes. Okay. okay, you did that already? Just a few seconds. That's what you do to exit. Okay. Yes. I exit now. I do that, and now okay. I do the yep. double, the LL. Yep. You should do LL. You should see your file. Okay. You see the file with your name. Let me see if it's there. Not yet. Yeah. If you do LL, now you should see the file with your name. I do LL total one hundred twenty. And now it show me you show student May twenty twenty S H. They did not do the file because if you did it, I will see your file. But I I don't see your file yet. Go back, go do. Listen. When you did VI, go back look at your script, your file. You did VI. What did what was your VI? I do VI. Okay. VI, VI space what? Student. VI space what? When you type VI. Give me yeah, this I did. I do this with my name, okay. not with your name, with my name. Good. Okay. And uh, then when you do the VI, you get inside a blank file. There's nothing inside. You then do I. I would open insert. You then come back and copy share script. Go put inside that VI. I do that. Don't well, but I don't see your script here. You see that? I don't see it. Maybe let me take away everything that's mine. There may be, let me take away everything that's mine. I don't have, there's nothing in that folder right now. Are you logging as DBA? Yeah, I'm logging as DBA. If you're not DBA, you cannot run SQL Plus. Mm -hmm. Who, who successfully did it? Anybody? Uh, Prof. Mm -hmm. I'm in VI and I just put uh, the lines there, but I need to exit. I'm having problem exiting from um, VI. How do you quit VI? Pull on WQ, but I'm not out. Yeah, but you, you did you do escape? It's not just colon, it's escape colon WQ. Oh, okay. Thank you. Escape takes you out of uh, the uh, VI mode, out of the insert mode, rather. Okay. Thank you. I got it. Yeah, Prof. I'm trying to exit too, but whenever I, I, I do that, column QW, it gives me no file name and the neat way the insert does appear. It's because you okay. Then do this. Because listen, yeah, my screen. Because you did that without doing this part. You did not do VI to go in. Okay. So so, but you can still continue. Do this. Do this. Hold on. When you do colon WQ, right? Copy this part that says that had the name. Don't do the VI again and paste it. Okay. Means you have to give the file name now. Okay. So do colon wq you enter the file name which should be your name underscore student underscore whatever we have there all right okay i see somebody did one can you check the group i just post it you just post what the screenshot of the email i got it oh you got your email yes i got it on the email good yes 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 so eric you're the first one to have it right Mr. Could you uh, somebody uh, uh, can help me because I don't I don't where, find where are you way. stuck? I'm not stuck. I do what uh, all you say me to do, but it don't show me. Okay, my hold on. Did you execute the script? You did not create the script yet, for sure. 
like I see, uh, uh, they come, you created the script, but you did not change, you have to change mode. They come, whoever is in they come, you, you need to change mode, right? Yes. Okay, I don't do that. How, how to change mode? Exactly. It's on the, it's on the screen. It's in it's the note. The note is, is step number two. Yeah, uh, I copy. I copy this in the sequel. Exact. No, in the V. Just in the sequel. Le sh 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 mode. Uh, mm -hmm. Change mode. No, no, no. That part is not inside the sequel. This is at command line. Mm -hmm. Listen, the VI, everything about VI ended right here. Then you do colon, escape colon WQ, you quit uh, uh, VI, then and the, you come and do change mode. Oh, you change the, oh, you change the last things, the math S mm -hmm. after end of shell, yes. no yeah. before L. End of share. Okay. Yes. I don't see that. Sorry. Yeah, after end of share, you just save it quick. Okay, I think I did it. Sure. Yep, I think, yep. I think one person got it. Uh, who is that? Uh, I got the email. Zeus. Check if his name is there. Uh, as a first student of the class is uh, Eric. Mm -hmm. Eric. No, Eric, yeah, Eric, come, uh, come here. I got the email, so I don't know, I guess... Take the email, Eric Cameron, tell me how you say it. The name is Stefan. Eric Cameron, yeah. Okay. Prof. Good. Prof. Yes. I have a question. After I um, did um, the file, I saw the file and I changed mode, but mm -hmm. I got lost there when it says exit. Read the, what does the instruction say after that? There's instruction you're following. What does it say? It says to execute or run the script. Where? So then do that. Is it on, on keep, sequel? Keep, keep reading the thing, my sister. Yes, Maybe. I saw it, but I did. So what does the next line say? It says, as, check your email or file system. But no. I'm getting error. Did you execute the script? Yes. Run that line. Run that command right there. Yes, I did that. Where is your own script inside the... Uh, among the list of scripts I'm looking, I don't see your script there. Mine is there. I see what, mine. What, what, is, what is your script called? What's the name of your script? Bower Students. B-O-W-O. -O. It's not in here. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Frankly speaking... I don't see it. Does somebody see it? No. Nope. Oh, Lord. Just do the VI thing again. I don't think you got that correct. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah, try that VI again. It is okay. VI. Just copy that, that thing and paste it. Then, okay. once you log in, you do insert. Then you go copy the whole script. You can put it inside. Then you run it. Professor, uh, how about me? Do you come? Yes. You okay. uh did you get the email? No, I can't find the email, but I did all the steps. Okay, hold on, let me come. Did you give any error? That's the point. You didn't get any error. Okay, if it did not give any error, then it surely worked. Let me see. They can. Hold on, let me see. Nope, you cannot. Okay, okay, yes. I see now. Listen. Okay. okay. No, no, it did not. You did not execute the script yet. Execute it then. 
Okay. Because once you execute correctly, you're going to have two files inside, just like uh, okay. Stefan and Quate. Okay. Those are the only two people who've done it correctly. Okay. Let me... Sorry, sir, I don't. Uh... Uh huh. It, it's not work for me. I uh, it say what? it say uh, uh, change mode cannot access Onanga. No search file or directory. Type ll to see if you see the file. I I I do ll no no my name. Then you did not make the for. file yet. They did not send it. I do now. Your VI did not work. So you need to do that VI part again. So your VI failed in anger. Uh, I do I try to do that uh, five times. Mm -hmm. Five times it gives yep. me the same Okay, hold on, I'll come check again. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah when you when you insert the uh uh, the, 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 when you create, when you enter, what do you, I mean, um, what do you have to? Uh, at what point? At what point? At the point when you, you, you're creating the uh, the VI, like LSN's name. Okay, let me do it again. Everybody, watch again in Nanga. Watch. Let me do it with the script, the same script that I gave you, the exact same script. Let me, me take this. I know I did a little change here, but I'm going to take that change out. So, if you had the script, like, you, are you seeing my screen? Yes. So, I need to create a script. I do uh, copy that VI line. Look, I'm lazy to type it. So, if I run, hold on. Let me just see, make sure I'm in the right place. Good. So, if I run that line, boom. It opens me a blank file because it's yes. a new, 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 new document, script. right? After to do my V, exactly. Right. Then after that happens, I then copy from here all the way to here. Copy. No, the whole thing, right? The mark. No, I, I, I did not add that in their own. So let me just end here. I copy that whole thing, or even I can copy all the way to the mod. Okay. I want the script to run that mod for me. I do. Copy, come here. I cannot yes. insert till I see I down here. Mm -hmm. so I hit I for insert. So I see insert. Yes. Insert. So after I see insert, a right click is going to paste. Exactly. Okay. I do that. Then I hit enter. And I then did that. I do escape. Escape. Guys, watch. When you hit escape, this insert disappears. Uh -huh. Escape. Insert is gone. So now I can do colon. You see down here, right? Mm -hmm. W, w means right or save, quit. Oh, uh, I don't save, I don't. Okay, okay. So now, if I type I L, L, now I should see that script here. Okay, okay. Now, but I cannot execute it because it doesn't have an execute Execute rights. Privilege or rights. So now I'm going to change mode seven four four or four four or five five whatever, and I go show boom. If I type ll again, now it is green because I have execute. Okay. Now I need to execute the script, which is the next step. In Linux, you execute a script by putting period forward slash, then the script name. So if I put period forward slash show it will run that script for me it will run that script for me that's it now if i type ll i should see now that it made a second file you see that before i had just that one so it made this one Something i type more on that second file that text file I should see the information for the class. And then that is a file that is supposed to be mailed to me. If it's not mailed, I can run that mail line again to, to just get it. Let me see if it even did mail it. But if it doesn't, I'll just mail it again. Yeah, I think it failed. Yes. Is it? 
Okay. No, he mailed it to me. I, nice one. No, he did not mail it. Because he did not mail it, I can go run that one line. If I run that one line to mail, he's going to look for that script and send it to me. Mm -hmm. And he should send it in a few seconds. I'll send you something like that. So now you know, okay, my thing worked. But I hate the way it looks. The only way you can open this, if you had opened this in the Notepad++, it will work. Hey, Prof. Charles here. I just joined and executed the script. Uh, let okay. me know if you can see me. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me see. Okay, I don't see your own script yet. I see. Okay, Onanga. Onanga. It's the first one, Charles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boston, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. So if you run that, if you execute that script, it should I create a second myself. script. Which mm -hmm. will be, guys, the second script is this one. Is the script that's been spooled. You see? The so you have to change where you had Cho, just change that a couple of places. You're changing Cho everywhere. Do replace all, guys. You see the Cho appears in uh, one, two, three, four, five places. Change just the name Cho. Or you could change the entire script name, I don't care. But if you do that, it should work for you, no doubt. Um, Prof. Yeah. What should I log in as? Is it S U D B A? Yes. Oh Lord, that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> yeah, Prof. Can you see any progress from my side? Uh, Ellis, Ellis, via Ellis. Uh, uh, what's the name? Right there, right there. Ellis student. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so now you need to change permissions. Right. That's what I'm at right now. Oh, if you change permission, then it will create your. Uh, then you execute it. It should now run the SQL plus for you and do whatever you want it to do. Awesome. So that's how you write a shell script, guys. And cron tab bro. Yes. So after that, I will show you guys this thing called cron tab that is used to schedule jobs. Because this could be a, uh, something you do at work, right? And, um, and then you have to schedule it to run so often and do something for you. If you have to do that, you have to put it in a schedule. So we'll look at the, yeah, we'll look at CronTap in a second and see what it does. Are we there, guys? Yes, we are all there. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing. That file that you copy, you can also SCP that file to yourself. Let me see if, we could, if I could show you guys that. That is not in the... Uh, that's not on the list of the commands that we did. But you must know how to move files from one machine to another. Let me see if I can show you guys that before we end our day. Uh, later, right? Just scroll through that list. 
and see if everybody there is is on that list. Oh, by the way, you've done all in the uh, from the classroom, right? Okay. All right. We'll we'll end today by. We're supposed to end what? Three hours, three, it's supposed to be three to six. Yes. yes. We'll end then. So you guys take a break at six though, six, six, 15. Then give you guys some certificates for those who have finished the course and done their assignments like you're doing now. This is our last one. My computer is blocked. What? Your computer, my computer is blocked. Blocked. Blocked block by who? I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a message. I'm I'm I'm, late. I'm trying to down. I download the the script that you sent to to save it to put, edit you, it. On you have, my, is that uh, the laptop? Yes. Just close the thing and open it back. Just close it. And just close it and open it back. Yep, that's and the best solution. I need to try this throw out the lid. I need so many no, hey, listen. Times. Even from the way your internet is sounding, your computer cannot handle anything. If you're talking through that same computer that, that we are hearing, no, that computer is not too happy. Is it turn up the computer? Yo, just reboot that computer. We cannot even hear you, frankly speaking. <laughs> when you talk, we can hardly decipher what you're trying to tell us. <laughs> the computer is having. Corona. The next tiny little thing I'll show you guys would be how to copy a file from one machine or to copy this file that you guys have made into your machine. Especially for those who are using command line. And this would definitely, so that was shell scripting, good. So my next thing, copy a file to a local system using SCP. How to copy a Nanga? Where's my lady? She left. Yes. Did you did yours work? Uh, I see. I see one. I don't understand. Let me see now, Onanga. But you changed the whole name now, my daughter. We are. You were supposed to change just the word Cho. Yeah, I do that. Okay, all right. I see, then I that see, one is not here yet. But the see, file that I see here has. Uh, I saw a nanga. So where you go, just where you see the word cho, you change that to onanga. To onanga. That's one thing. So I want now, to see now the I see my name is the in the after to do the LL. Okay, okay. After to did the LL. Remember, LL is just to see, right? LL does nothing, but it's just for you. The Salamanca to voir. Here, you don't. <laughs> Let me speak some French. So, 
I, oh, no, I, I understand. I saw my name Onanga in white and in green. Oh, okay. Hey, then you then you're good. Onanga. Am I just uh I see one Onanga? It's an it's an aquate quat quate something. Yeah, I see quate. Yeah, under that is onanga. I see onanga, but it's only in uh, green. And you did not end with dot sh. It's good to make the extension file different. The extension uh -huh. name, make it dot sh. So when it's dot sh, I you know that it's a shell script. It's, it's so, it's so, it, it, it show me uh, bash, no such file or directory. Because there's nothing for you to run, my dear. Listen, I'm looking, look at my screen. I see one file with Onanga all in caps. Onanga, look at everybody's file. You, there you know what, what you are missing. Look in the machine, type LL, and you see. What's your any desk? Onanga, give you any desk, let somebody log in and, and help I see, you. I see what I miss, what something missing, but I don't know. What I uh, what I do, what I uh, will do to to f to make that. What's your any desk? Give your any desk number. Yes, two thousand. I send that. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right. So, writing a little shell script to send you an email. Uh, so, so, Joe, I see uh, uh, mine is only in green. I don't see your white. I, 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 I write my, I write my any desk in the WhatsApp group. Is okay? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, just put it there. So then uh, uh, Gerard can log in and just see what uh, what you do. Yeah. I see only mining grain. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Or? You did not execute the script yet. Did you execute the script? Step number. What is that? Execute step three. number three. Oh, okay. Making this VI only makes you one script. Right. Then you have to now say, okay, I want to run the script. Uh, Onanga, you gotta accept. Uh -oh. Professor, I have a question. Yes, sir. So I know you are going. You're, you're going to give us the certification. I don't see anything. Yes. So so desktop, open, up it. open up your any desk. If it's possible to Something to, to use fix. what we did in class and and say that we did like we Wait, completed sorry. the project. I don't know if you can show us how to insert that. Let's say during an interview or. In our resume. Well, it depends what kind. Of, it depends what interview. Okay. Nothing. So kind of um, ask me. Accept. Oh, so I just thought that we were able to use that in general. Like, oh. if they ask, we already if you already completed the any project, so we can say okay, we were able to log in into. Yeah, we, yeah. You're familiar with Linux. You can you familiar you write some shell scripts. You can query a database. Kodasha script is querying a database. I give. Okay. I'll write that. No, yeah. open up any desk on your computer. Oh. What was. Park. Yes. Yeah, I just did the project. Do you have a second one for us? Did you receive the, did you receive the, uh, the lead? Email. Good. So that was. A good, 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 good test. And uh, just a second. Second, a second, a second, a second, a second. Let me see here. What did I collect in us? I don't find it. Oh, I'm not going to look at it. What are you looking for? Any desk number? I find, I yes. give my uh, number in the, the WhatsApp. No, open up your any desk. It's not you open. You have to open any desk. 
get a start to any desk. Open it on your on your laptop. I'm... Yeah, if it's not running, nobody can can get in there. So another tiny little thing you can use. There's something they call SCP in Linux, which is uh, to I'm copy. Talking. You use that to copy. Uh, I open. Uh, wait, it's still going. Just use just... SCP to copy copy file from one machine to another. Okay, watch this. You say use what, Prof? SCP. S okay, FTP. Uh, there's FTP, you use to move files. Then there's SCP that you move, you use to copy files. Okay. Two separate things. SCP and FTP. Yes, but they both cannot do the same thing because they copy files from one place to another. So let me do, we are using, okay. The file I want to copy is over here. So I'm adjusting it to copy that script that we just did into your local machine. Okay. What I do? And the user is DBA. Copy this to my downloads. Let me see. So that I can find my downloads folder. Downloads, downloads. Now, let me try something here and I'll show you guys how that works. CMD, copy. to copy that file. Oh man. So so you have your, your zoom on a browser? All right, so guys, a few more things before we end the day, which I want you guys to write down. 
you want to take a, a Linux class and finish without talking about uh, this stuff? Yo, guys, come on, let's uh, whip out a few more things here before our day ends. Here. Everybody should now stop that. Let's uh, focus on something different. Here, 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 guys. Yo. Mm -hmm. Linux commands. I want you guys to, we're going to write this one, this two important command before we end. Everyone, please, 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 please. Number one, there's a command called SCP. SCP. Guys, this command is secure copy. That's what it stands for. What do we use it for? Used to copy files. from one machine or one computer to another. I'm going to give you guys a format very soon. SCP. And maybe, maybe I'll show you guys the format that we're going to use right now. The format is uh, usually something like this, guys. How do we use it in other words? You type SCP, oops, have one second, I'm blocking your way. So you type SCP, then you, you put a, uh, mm, no, let me, let me kind of change that a little bit. I'll say this, to copy a file from a remote, means you're trying to copy a file from somewhere else, from a remote computer or machine. You say from a remote uh, computer, right? Typically, most of most real computers are Unix machines. From a, a remote computer, the command goes something like this, guys. So you start that command with, oops, let me change that color. You start the command with that SCP. SCP. Then you give remote username 
I mean the user on the other side into that machine. Remove username. Then you put that thing at. After I put the at sign, you then give the uh, IP address of the remote machine. How can I call that? I'll say remote machine. IP address. Every machine on the, on the network has an IP address. Then after you give that remote machine IP, you then put two dots. And then you give the file name. Let me say, you put two dots, and then you do forward slash, uh, in our case, we're going to put forward slash home, slash, that user we're dealing with today is called DBA. Mm, no, let me don't, I was giving a generic one. File name, you yeah, should be file name. In the file that you're trying to, to copy. Then after that, you put a space, then you give your forward slash local directory. I mean, where you want to keep the file? And that's it. If you do that, you copy the file. So for us today, we are going to copy a file. That file that you just made, we are going to copy it. Okay? Then number two, command that you need to know before you finish this class. So don't tell somebody, you did, con you did Linux and they did not mention this for you. It's called FTP. FTP stands for file transfer protocol. As, by the way, by the way, let me go back to the top. Where did SCP, that stands for secure copy protocol. Uh, yes, secure copy. I like it to add that word protocol here. Protocol. So this one down here is file transfer protocol. Okay, what do we use it for? Did you send it to used for transferring files? Transferring or copying. It, it does copying too. Files from one server. Server or machine, guys. A server is a machine. A machine is a computer, right? One server machine to another. For those of you who are doing a database and AWS will deal with that, those, this FTP later to talk about. So now I will do an example and you guys see of SCP. So the SCP, oh, then let me put another command which you guys want to leave, you got to know. Number three, there's a command called cron tab. Cron tab is a scheduler. 
in Linux or Unix or Linux yeah or Unix those two things are the same as far as we are concerned so Kronta what do you use it for used for scheduling we know what schedule is scheduling jobs to run at specific times remember the scheduler you need to scheduler has to do with time so those three last commands should be the last commands we learn and it's exactly six o'clock but unfortunately we've got to practice this and those things cannot find the Zeus. Okay. So right here, guys, I want you guys to watch. I'm going to do SCP. And I've written it somewhere. And I'll put it in the group. And it'll be the last thing everybody will practice before we end up. And then wish each other goodbye. And, uh, and, and figure out how we continue this next time. So you learn a little bit more than this time. So guys, I'll send you guys the tiny little note. I'll still put that inside that shell scripting, send it again. So it'll be, let me put it somewhere that I can make it bigger. Where is that? Where is that thing? Just one second. I want to put it, uh, oh, I didn't even put today's date. We're going to pray at the end. So today is May 23rd. 2020 last day of this beautiful class okay i'll make this a little bit bigger then i'll show you guys how it works so here guys secure shell as a matter of fact me get the actual yeah I'll just put this in there. This is a note I was supposed to, I'm giving you guys, but uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Pick that off. So now, guys, the main command. Make that main command bigger so you guys can see. Yeah, guys, don't do anything else. Just uh, instead, just watch this. It's better to. So, guys, it is SCP remote username add. You give the remote user machine name colon, the remote file path, and you give your local. So, for us today, our machine in this class, this was the IP address. So, we're using that yeah, IP I address now. And going to that IP address now, guys. We would be, we would do SCP, we enter the username, the username was DBA in caps, at that machine. Then we give the location of our file. So everybody watch this. In our machine, if I type PWD, this way PWD is important. So this is the location of our file. Type LL, this is my file. Where is my, yeah, that guy. So now to copy that file, I must point to this directory in this machine. So I'm going to do SCP DBA at, I give the machine name, colon, the location, and the file name, then space. Where do I want to download the file? In my machine. I want to download that in my downloads folder. So I give the location right there. So. I want you guys to watch. So if I copy that file and I type, paste it there and I hit, no, not there, not there. In my command line on my machine, on my Windows, not in a Unix machine. If I paste that here and I hit enter, it asks me for the password. Password of who? DBA. We know it's Oracle oh, no. 1.1. I hit enter, it tells me this. The file 
She folded, right? Yeah, but she downloaded one hundred percent complete. How big the file was. If I wanted to download all the files in that folder, maybe I'll try star and say I want you guys to watch some other thing. I repeat the command, and I'm going to change. Yes, I want to download all the files in that directory. I may use a star. Let's let's just use a wildcard and see if it works. Star.txt. Hit enter. Password. Oracle one one. Yeah, it downloads all the files. So let me go to my uh, folder and see. So if I open, go to my downloads, sort by date, sort by date again. These are the files. Stefano, Nanga, everybody, I got all your files. So that is the power of SCP. You can use that to copy files from one place to another. So I will give that to you guys and everybody. If you have Windows 8, this will never work for you. So well, basically, people with Mac, you cannot try that. So I would do this again. I'll put that same, because I don't want us to lose this. I'll send you guys, uh, yep, that's my shell script. Shell script. I'll just resend the shell script and it is down at the bottom. But when you take it, you gotta change my name. I see. You can hear you. Uh, you can't hear me. What? Anybody? No, they can all hear me. So I will do this now. I've saved that. Let me see. Save it. Yes. And I'll put it in the class group. That's our last hands on. Then I'll do, where was that, SQL, sort by, what, why did I keep that script? Just hang on guys, I gotta look for that script. SQL class list, oh, it's in the class list folder. Good, so I'm sending you guys the script again and that line is at the bottom and it can work for everybody. Boom, send it, everybody download that file don't mix it with the old one if you could, uh, who cares? But download it and you copy. As my family, I just sent you guys a library. Some people find it difficult to see that line. Guys, let me just send that. Here we go. That's SCP line. Everybody run SCP. So we'll see how SCP works. And then after that, we're going to. We're gonna pray and then we're gonna end up for the day. So me and Mazula here, we can go relax, enjoy our weekend. What's today? Saturday? Yes. And today's last day, don't we? Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're all tired. Because I have another class going. And after this, uh Yep, for the uh, 27 of or 25 of you guys online, I just check again. Some other person came online. I don't know who. Anyway, not in, surely not important. I don't worry. So we don't count out today, bro. Uh, mm, no, we don't have enough time for that. We gotta end. Yeah, we are gonna do that later. No, but you know how to do it, right? I know you did contact before. Wouldn't get into those details now, we'll never end. Oh yeah. Get it in, we'll get it in, get it in, get it in. Yeah, yeah. And those who are interested, we'll swing back later and we do some more stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> some other stuff. Hey, who, who, who did the SCP and it worked? Run the SCP and tell me what you see. If it downloads your files for you. That's it. Mm, what folder is it in? What's up? You like me? Huh? It's in this. Did you put it in the. No, no, I'll give you a file. Okay.
so there is a lot I can teach you guys, but there is not enough time. We have to kind of schedule this thing next time to do it much better. And uh, we would be, uh, yes, we would be all available. Hello. Next time, put sign in as yourself now. Are we there? Who did the LCP and the work for them? Work for me. Yep, that's a very powerful thing that everybody, you just understand the concept for now. Then next time in a real class, uh, with time, you would practice that, but it's a very useful software. It may not be on your Windows 8, but Windows 10 comes with it. All Windows 10s have it. Vicente Zeus. And, um, please, sir. Yes, sir. Can I read the last, the last, can I read the last uh, command contract? Cron tab. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. The last one. There we go. Cron tab. A Contra scheduler Contra in Linux. Yeah. Used for scheduling jobs to run at specific times. So, like, let's say this was a real report at work, right? And for some business. They might ask you to write this report that runs every day, maybe at midnight or 6 a.m and send an email to somebody. So when they ask yeah. you to do that, that is when, why is my thing not? That's what I want to say. Why is my but with, the, with the IP address, I'm putting my own IP address, right? No, 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 no. You're only changing the, where it says C something, there's a name there. Okay. Which is change my name. Name. Okay. Change it to your own CD. Change. Listen. Okay. Look at your machine. Look at your downloads folder and see what your download folder says. Because your download folder may be different from mine. Okay. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think we should eliminate that line completely. Eliminate that. Hold on. Yeah, you don't need to do that. Because I know most of you, you, you may have trouble just uh, changing that. Um, yes, that, you know what, I'll simply put a dot. Hey, everybody, when you copy that thing, run it without the C something, you can take away that whole line, it's still going to download inside your current folder. Because you put that C thing there, it's actually going to fail. If the path, if you don't have that path, that's, I know some of you will be hard to find your own path. So, guys, just run it the way I sent it now, the second time, and it should download. Just copy that and paste it. Zeus, waiting for you now. Okay. May 9th. Let's see if it's here already. And after that, uh, we're going to do a little bit of talking then. Uh, uh, how can I swing from one to the other? It's difficult, right? And uh, hey, look at that quiz. Who was the first person on that quiz? 
Let's check. So I give that guy some first. Hey, who's on what? The password is Oracle 1-1. One one. Copy the second line, uh, guys. Just the second line. It's giving me error. SCP uh, bracket numbers and cipher or all that. Where are you running it? Are you running on your, on your command line? Yes, I'm running it as mine, as users and my name. On your window, on your Windows machine, right? Yes, on my Windows. CM I had exactly the same thing too. Type, just type SCP hit enter. Tell me if it if it if it gives you something. Okay. So you may not have SCP on your machine. It says you say it gives me a query. Okay, so SCP works for you. So, if you watch my machine here again, guys, let me... You are not sharing that. your screen, sir. Yes. Just hold on. This is my screen right here. Yes, sir. If I run down that line, you ask me... Wait, let me yes. see. Yes. Okay, that takes that. Error. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Something is broken there right now. Hold on. Let me see. Be copied from the right place again. Then you may have to co copy it from that file. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yes, it could be. Hmm. Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. You may need that. Yeah, you may actually need that second part. Yes. But when you do that, also okay, you it needs a second part. In, copy the whole, copy that first line. Let me delete that second line. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me do that first line or do this. Hey, listen. Let me tell you guys a trick. Do the first line. Put a period. That will mean copy here. You must put a period. After after the uh, the backslash. No, 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 no. What backslash? We do the first, just the first of SCP, right? Please. Look at the look at the notes. Look at what I just put on the group. Copy that copy. whole thing and paste it. Just copy that line and paste it. It should work. The thing is, when you run it, it wants to know where you want to keep the file. That's why it, it didn't work. Okay. Woo. Tell you that coronavirus killing people, huh? Oh, baby. Okay, I got it. It gave me 100% downloaded, 28 KB. 44 and all the sizes, yeah. So go look in your, are you type in your, on your computer, check your prompt to see where you are. Are you inside downloads or where are you? Um, actually, I'm, 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 I'm in my uh, drive, the user. I'm at. So if you open the browser and go to that directory, you should see the file there. Okay. So SCP is used to copy files from one machine to another. As simple as that. So with that, guys, 100% copied. 100% mm? copied. Then, yeah, then the file is with you. Open your browser and you go look for it. You'll see it. Okay. That is how they use, you use this to copy files a lot. So, how can we find it? The file look, at, look at my screen. Okay. You see my screen? Yes, sir. If you see down here, you see C users and my name, right? Yes. Now, I, if you open your Windows browser, this thing, you now go to, if, if you don't know, you go to, uh, go to C, where's your C drive again? You got to know how to navigate through your thing. C, uh, mm -hmm. users, Matthias. That's, that's, that's that path. 
Or I can do this. I can just copy that part, highlight it like that and hit enter. And I go paste it in my browser, it should take me there. But if I come here, that's where that file will be. So for example, let me download again, and you guys see. So if I do that, hit enter, password, Oracle, one, one. 100% complete. But come here, this is the file right here. Okay, okay. That's the file. Okay, because I'm using a Mac, I was able to, to modify the... Yeah, definitely, yeah. You have to modify the script. Yeah, okay. I was able to download it, but now I have to find it. Yeah, but that is SCP. They call that guy SCP. Secure copy protocol. Use it to copy files. FTP, FTP. file transfer protocol. It's like we, we, we NCP kind of easier though. Uh, we NCP kind of easier when you drag and bring from one side to another one. Professionally, nobody use that thing. Oh. Professionally, <laughs> when you start working computers deeply, you find out that uh, for really serious work, you use command yeah. line. Okay. Because it's repeatable. For example, I just copy that and said you can run it. But if I have to explain it in SCP, it will take pages for me to explain it to you if you're not there. I see. Then now that I've done that, I could modify that script to do many, many other things. So for that reason, SCP, uh, uh, what do you call this thing? Command line, as you go further into computers, Command line is good for things that you need to repeat over and over and over. So with that, before we end, I would say, uh, what did I have to share? Excuse Just hang on. me, sir. Yes. Uh, for my ACP, I don't. Uh... Did it download the file? No. Did because I am stuck. You After stopped? the. the... The, the. Gerard, you still log into her machine? Oh, Gerard is gone. I could have said Gerard just, okay, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll, I will fix that for, for you later on. It just <coughs> copy you. that thing, paste it, a command line, enter Oracle 1.1. One, one. It should download. Mr. Cho? Yes. Please, where can we see all the notes? I would, the one that I wrote down with my hand, I will send them to you after. Okay, all right, sir. But apart from that, I did give you guys all these things are in that FTP, uh, I think Linux shortcuts. Yeah. But this is more something that you practice and practice and then you get used to. As you, as you now get into computers, you soon realize that you're using them over and over, then you'll be able to remember them or at least know where to go get them. Yes, that's why I need the notes because yes. um, the VI Editor one, I am zero. All right, so I have a quick question, Paul. Please, yes, all right. Just my email. I, I, I mean, I have some issue. Could you email me this the share screen, please? Because I don't want to type the thing all over. It's in a group. I'm not on the group, my group is on my cell phone, not on the laptop. So no. please. You must swing your, you must learn to use that thing on your laptop right from day one of class. I know. That's the first thing I ask everybody to do. So let's talk about that later a little bit. So right. for now, guys, for now, for now, this is it. I want to share a few things that we end for the day. Number one, my little prayer for all of you. The prayer of Jezebel, right? It says, oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. That's a prayer for you guys, for everybody. I hope you know pray, uh, First Chronicles 4.10. It's a powerful prayer. But apart from that, what I really want to share, share a couple of scriptures that we end is uh guys time is short we've spent uh almost two weeks or two weekends doing this 
But remember guys, every single day you spend, you wanna spend a day and make sure that you're moving forward because time is very short. A lot of people just go like that. By the time you know you are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and you're gone. So and that's why David cried that teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Life is so short. And spend times, especially if you're new in this country, spend a lot of time to grow up, to learn things like this, and don't procrastinate. Don't be afraid. And I like uh, the young lady, Onanga, I know you just came, you're still struggling with English, but keep up what you're doing. Ask, seek, and you will find, it says in Matthew, knock, seek, and the door will be open. So commit your activities to the Lord and your plans will be established. Amen. Commit your plans to the Lord and your plans will be established. But most importantly, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters. Since you know that you would receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs. And there is no favoritism in the kingdom of God at all. And as we go, guys, frankly speaking, uh, I see online is 25 of you who started like with 100 and 30, 40 people. But as time goes, you are being filtered. You see those who have the tenacity, the uh, determination to make it. And people like that, tell you the truth, sometimes I don't even mind teaching them when the worst comes to us for free because I know they have the zeal and the, the, the determination to make it and they will make it. America has, uh, it's a level playing field. You can rise up as far as you want. As long as you work hard, you live a comfortable life. Amen. You know, you wouldn't be Bill Gates. It's a few people in the world that'd be like him, but um, you would make it way better than if you stayed where we came from. So it's very, very important that uh, what you're doing now, guys, for all of you, hanging in this far, learning some of these things, just keep on doing the same thing. You know, keep on doing the same thing and you would succeed in very, in the very, very short or, or near future. And you have to learn from others. It says procrastination is a sin. Don't wait. <laughs> Procrastinate your future. And that's why in Ecclesiastes 10, 10, it says, if the ax is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength will be needed, will be needed, but skill will bring success. So as you study, guys, you're getting skill. As you study, you are growing in many directions and you easily succeed but those who stay and they don't study they get dull it's hard for them they'll do two jobs to be able to pay their rents but if you study hard you do one comfortable job and you can do a lot more than somebody doing two three jobs and that is the goal that is why we are here and that's i'm glad uh, you guys joined, but that is why I teach this to help all my younger ones, especially all those coming from Africa, to grow strong, to get established in this country in a very short time, shorter than I did. Because if I don't get those who come behind me to succeed better than I did, then I definitely failed. And you just have to have faith Guys, for without faith, it is impossible to please God and to, and to succeed. 
when you please God, you will succeed. You have to have faith in yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, this summer, I would uh, maybe by the end of July, I'll do another class, which will kind of be like a continuation of this one. It will be much more organized. And I'll let you know, and you can invite your friends. You all join. But as you get stronger in understanding these few things, then you can get to do those bigger things that we teach. Because I teach much more complex things than this. But I know you cannot get into those complex things if you, if you don't have these basics that we are teaching. And that's why we do this part of the class. That's why we do this. And uh, for those of you who have uh, stomach it up to now, guys, let me look at our, what's our classroom? I want to see. We gave a quiz, 18 people did it. Uh, let me swing to that quiz and see if I could find out. Da -da -dun -dun -dun. Where's Mazula? Actually, the person doing most of the work in the background is my son, Mazula. He's uh, he just turned 22. We've been doing this since he was like 15 years old. Hey, Mazula, Zeus, Dr. Zeus, happy yes. birthday. He, yes, he just shift, uh, he just went upstairs to get something. And uh, he's, he's of great help. He's taught a lot of people who are earning $150,000 now. I needed to mentor me. And he started teaching them a few little things, showing them, fixing their computers for them or their keyboard or whatever when he was young. So, but with that, uh, let me see, who, was the, who did the best in this exam? 42, 43, Aristide. Yes, Aristide must have been the one who did, yeah, who did the best out of it. I was sleepy. I got to answer wrong because I clicked the wrong one. So sleepy, 1 a.m. <laughs> That's the thing with computers. You gotta stay yeah, I, up. Uh... I got I got 41, but the tech I'm getting 43. I got 41. Yes. So with that, with that, guys, I'm pleased for all of you. And um, no as I say, I was just keep in touch in the group. I'll send you guys more details. And I have the DBA class that started last week. <laughs> And I have a problem. I think I may have enough people in the class already. Um, because, as you see, guys, to be very practical, especially now that we need COVID, uh, you cannot teach a big, 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 big class. It has to be a small, tight class so that I have enough helpers so they can log into the machines and help. Because if you're stuck, like Onanga or someone was stuck today, Somebody has to log into your machine and help, but one person cannot teach and do that. So for that reason, these uh, online classes will probably end up getting to be a little bit more expensive later on because of, uh, especially for beginners who need a lot of help. Um, so I have that class going. I would, I, I'm still working on a class that we need to do, which will be on SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, which is way easier than Oracle. Uh, normally, I don't teach that class. I teach Oracle. Then I spend like two days or so to go over SQL Server with the students. But I'll probably just make some class for that, just for real entry, entry level people to find something and start doing while they do the bigger things. Um, that class will be, of course, be a little bit cheaper. So the but I'll keep you guys informed as to that class, how it goes. Microsoft SQL Server is more is more drag and drop, and it has its own cloud. They call Cloud Azure. So when you teach that class, you'll definitely go with that Azure Azure thing. But it's uh, not as power. Let's say you have if you do Oracle. And somebody does Microsoft SQL Server. If you have a job 
the Oracle guy has a job for 100,000, the SQL Server guy will have a job like for 50,000. That's really the difference. Like half, half the effort, half the price, half the money. But with that said, before we end for the day, I would give out, uh, let's give out this. We all give kind of token like things. You know, they say uh, men like toys. So we're going to send you a team. Normally we'll hand this out. But uh, for today, I'm going to send it to you guys by text or by uh, WhatsApp. Wow, that's that's that's, that's it, awesome, Paul. That is yours. I'll oh, read you alphabetically. And Abraham, anything? Are you online, Abraham? He's not there. I should give the privilege to those who are online. I'm not seeing my. Yes, okay. I'm I'm online. Online. Oh, you are online. Okay. Yes, then, sir. Alex. Congratulations, Abraham. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So I let, I let yeah, 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 And my friend Charles up there, he's an IT guy already. And do yes, sir. Do that do yes, this do okay. Yeah, do I like you? You're always there. So uh, let's keep making. Yes. Then Alice. Yes, no. sir. Yes, oh, sir. Alex Kim, you can. Yes, then Eric. Yes, sir. I'm here. Yes, sir. Kamge, I'm Gaka. Yeah, Kamge. <laughs> now they do graduations online. This is our own. Yeah. Dr. Zeus. Oh, that's Missoula. <laughs> Missoula, you forget to change the name. <laughs> okay, and uh, as my fact, that was Femi. That is yours. Yours is coming. I just forgot to, to do the name. He's he's redoing that one. Oh, yeah, that's Femi. Well, my my is not yet there, Prof. Yeah, just oh yeah, I'm saying I'm not halfway gone. Okay, okay, sorry. You didn't pass the class, man. Me <laughs> too. I don't pass. And then no 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 no. We're still coming. Is a way alphabetic. Yeah, that's uh -oh. me. And George, my man. Yeah, George. Yes, is sir. There. Bonaberry people. Yes, yes, we're <laughs> gonna be guys with neighbors. <laughs> and Gifo, Sidon, Sidwan, where is she? Is she online? Gifo, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay. I'm Gaka, I'm Gaka Gifo. Happy okay. Anya, happy Anya. Okay. <laughs> okay, if your name is wrong, just later on send it, I will correct it. And then Hilary. Ikenyo. Yes, Ikenyo. And uh, job, yo, job, Pastian Sikati. Yes, it's me. Thank you. Oh, tell me, what's your ah? Oh, Kati, definitely have something to do that song. I know that song. Oh, tell me, what's your later on? I'll call you as Sikati, and I want to hear you. Yeah, 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 so now my name is gonna have a game at the end. Is not that. Yeah, I'll let her, I'll let her. What is that at the end? <laughs> that is that I? Oh, that's supposed to be H, Pazu. No, the, the end was H. Okay, end was H. Okay, Zeus. What is this one? Timmy. Okay. okay. All right, now we'll correct that. Uh, uh, okay. so let me close that one because we need to correct that one. Then. Joseph Kwate. Joseph Kwate. Gata, I'm Gata, Sona. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Your closet, actually. So okay. I'm just sending, then we'll call it. It'll be in the closet, it. yeah. It's a boot camp. Yes. It was a boot camp class with uh, nice fundamentals. Uh, Sandrine Vondo. I'm sure she's not on there. And my lady here, my daughter here. From Gabon, from my bongo. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Sarah, I'm glad everyone. Glad everyone. Yeah. Sir, yeah. I'm going to let you make I'm not in touch. And Stefan Riley. 
All right, all right. That was all uh, we had and all who wrote the exam. Actually, we went from the exam sheet. So, hey, somebody online that I'm missing their name. I know yes, sir. I, what, okay, what, what's that name? Stefan? No, I have Stefan, right? Is that Eric? Hey, if you're online, guys, send me your name if I missed you. If I missed you. But, but this came definitely from our exam thing for those who Alex, Alex, just hold on, Alex. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, we, uh, we need to turn the way together. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey, Alex, put your name in that uh, in the WhatsApp thing. Let me get that. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the full name here. So just put in the WhatsApp group, I would uh, we'll fix that. Then and if I spell your name wrong, if your name was spelled wrong, fix it. But we actually copied them from the uh, registration. Yes. 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 Okay, but my name on the registration, I didn't write everything. So uh -huh. can I send the yes. correct one? Yes, yeah, send your correct one. When you send the correct one, also mention one on the registration so we can align the two. Okay. So with that, guys, it's been a big pleasure. It's a, it's our pleasure to do this, and we have been doing this for for many years. Sir, so I just sent my name. Okay. Alex Newton. Okay. All right. Yes, yeah, who's get his own fire that up? And we've been doing this uh, kind of classes for a long time from our basement. Then we moved to College Park, and COVID brought us back to the basement. We are down here in the basement, two of us working on this. So, with that said, everyone, uh, thanks for coming. And and the least you can do for us is to share the information about what we do, so that the next class can have you and your friends. Then, as you guys get stronger to get into other things, be it database, be it cloud, be it network, be it uh, Unix. Let me know and I can send you to the right place if I'm not teaching what you want. Tiffany. Because I've been teaching this for 27, no, since 1997. That's about 24 years almost. So I know the people who are teaching who are also good. So if you need to do either networking or security, I can guide you to those. Or if you need just to have a guide on where to go, I'll let you know. And after doing IT for a while, if you ask my personal yeah, opinion, I'll tell you this. What you want to do, you want to move towards SQL in cloud. You want to move towards what has to do with data. You want to touch data. Because, because data doesn't change that much. And data is the asset, the greatest asset for any company. So when you do anything that has to do with data, you're being paid the most, and, uh, and your job is often more secure than, any, than a lot of other things in IT. You have a more stable job. <laughs> Trying to get into anything of the of the of the sort, let me know and I can be of help, advising or teaching or whatever you want. Uh, we can only grow when we share knowledge together. Now, Prof, I have a question. Yes, I did it training somewhere with uh, system admin. Now, can you transition from system admin to data? Of course. I, I didn't I, I didn't work with the system I mean because my goal was to join first and try to have some hands on and to come to the data. Yeah. That's why we said our class sizes are small so that we can do hands on correctly. Okay. Because if you when we do it now you have to lock into your machine every time to help to fix something. I just finished that class maybe a few weeks ago, so you know I don't want to get overwhelmed too much since I'm new. You know, I can be confused. Now, are you ready to start looking for a job in that field? No. I need to put my resume at the end of this month. Out. Okay. Okay. If you've done the certification, 
then followed 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 uh, that up follow that up and then another thing you need to do is this remember you go to uh, the job search engines right yes just go there and find out about the jobs in that field because the, at the bottom at the end of the day whatever you're doing is because you need to get a job exactly for the, it's not just for the fun of it so you want to quickly go to places like uh, let me see which of them here you want to go to place like glass door place here yes Get in there and you type what was that you did linux yeah i did i mean it was a multi-platform so i did linux i did unix i don't like unix that much i did linux i did uh ansible that i like i did uh networking tcp ip all right listen which one are you specializing they have to be a specialty linux to be honest i like linux windows user management all that stuff okay because it is it is not just you mentioned too many things yeah i, I mean I, i'm comfortable around linux linux you know linux all uh, the okay so you you have to you don't have to be too uh how can i say big no you don't want to sound like uh like you're in africa where you have to know everything okay you have to be a master a doctor in one thing okay specialization yes you have to specialize very 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 important in this world so prof can i put my uh, uh address up there put your what uh, any, any, any address um, well not now right oh okay well dealing with everybody yeah so yeah you have to narrow down that thing you cannot go get a job in all of those things if you get a job and somebody somebody said they need you to come do all those things that is the person who will pay you the least amount of money to start oh, okay with. then we don't know it's a, like an african employer exactly and i think you must have had enough of them that's why you run here exactly <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to go get somewhere they tell you you're the network engineer you're the one doing ansible you're the one doing linux no that's the place where they'll pay you the least amount of money if you want to hear so 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 i i mean i, I went to the ansible so I, i would rather not put it on my resume but even if you put it that's not you cannot be looking for a job as an ansible person okay you're looking for because when you go to look for a job there would be online that we need somebody who knows this okay you have to see them say we need somebody who knows linux unix ansible uh, uh my sequel this that that no not all of them oh often they could say this Taxi. Often at the end they may say we're looking for a Linux sysadmin, but a not a good knowledge in Unix will be helpful. Or they could say an idea of of Ansible may be helpful. Okay. You see, so that is that's why you need to pay attention to. So, no prof, with the DBA, uh, the cloud DBA. Our specialization is uh, with database. Cloud. Specialization is database. Yeah. But you know cloud. Okay. In the cloud. Specialization is for things like you're backing up the database, you're moving data, you are doing migrations, you are cloning the database, you're doing all those things. Okay. But you're doing that within the cloud environment. You can't have any. Yeah, the picture is Zim Recruiter. So that's the thing. Tu vas créer un compte là-bas. Tu vas mettre Ouais. Mais ça apparemment c'est plus pour les gens qui font dans le So um voit beaucoup là-bas en fait c'est 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 ce que c'est pas quoi. Give me a microphone. Yes. So, uh with that again guys, uh what I want to say is uh, as you think if you have questions anytime about what to do you can call me and can give you some honest opinions on what direction to move to thank you
Okay, Alex, we got yours. Yeah, you also is correct. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, then, uh, yeah, Jonathan, yeah, will fix yours. Thank you. Thank you. Professor, I want to get you next uh, course. Yes. Okay, I'll call you. Uh -huh. I'm going to get you next course of the survey. Uh, okay. I'll call you later. Next week. Okay. okay. What is your next uh, course you have it? So. But thanks. Next. The next time I have a, this this kind of course, and uh, az Azure Cloud. Oh, the Azure. No, that will be in the summer. We're still working on that schedule. Okay, I'll wait and uh, I, I'll call you next week to see. Yes, we'll talk next week about that. So, um. Yes, 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 yes. So that then goes our IT class. And um, I know some of you, I uh, see some of you online here, yeah, you already signed up for the uh, DBA. And it is just, guys, stay focused on one thing until you master it, you become a master at it. For those of you who are like from Cameroon, let me tell you guys, if you're from Cameroon, I believe a good number. Do you know, in the entire Cameroon, they're just four DB, uh, five DBAs. Wow, 30 million people, five DBA. And they're all foreigners. Wow. All of them, all. There's one from France, two South African, no, two from France, two South African, and one from Greece. That other guy is from Greece. Because I, I, before this stupid war, I used to go there all the time and I, I'll visit all those MTN, Orange, uh, Camtel, you have to see what they are doing. And uh, that's where the DBA is. You have two for Orange, two for... Um, two for... What the other company? Camtel, MTN. Then... Uh, uh, Nextel. Uh, no, Nextel doesn't have here. Nextel is still struggling. Next... Um, one for the Cameroon government telephone thing, Camtel. Yes. Camtel. Yes, they are foreigners. Oh, not one that belongs to, that is our own people. You go there, they will not believe it. And the least of them probably earns not less than 2 million francs CFA. And they paid, and they have a car, and they have a house boy, they have a house paid for. So how are we going to get the notification? Yeah, I would send it to you guys. I'll just hopefully i have yes i'll just send it to you guys i have your uh, names i'll just send it to whatsapp okay easy i sent to whatsapp you just download okay so any other question and any other thing apart from that just look out for our next class which could be sometimes uh, end of july uh would be much more organized than this one and hopefully uh, that will be much more beneficial to move you closer to your goal of getting into IT if you haven't done that by then. Yes, sir. So with that, I call it the day. And anyone, you can call me offline later on and we... Hey, Prof, please. Hey, please, please. Yes, sir. Uh, can you email me the shell script to my email, please? Uh, you don't have a WhatsApp thing? No, I called and I didn't sign up on, it's not on my, it's not on my laptop. I didn't, you know, I didn't do that to my laptop because I might need, I might have to type the whole thing. It might take me more than, you know. Nope, you don't have to type the whole thing because I can copy that whole thing and put it in there for you. Hmm? Put it in my email? Put it. Who no, really deals with email? We don't do email. Send me an email, then I'll reply with it. Uh, but, let me put my email here on the chat. Yeah, because it's way easier for me to deal with uh, WhatsApp than dealing with email these days. That's true. I drag and drop in there, you drag it back out. How, life, how easy can life get? Hey, but later on, listen, you must learn to use, uh, to use WhatsApp on your desktop. Yes. That's what that's that's 
in the best way of using it. You have a laptop. Absolutely. Right? Do you have a laptop? Yeah, I have a laptop. I have a Windows 10. Yeah, and then, then what was difficult for you to... What? Yeah, it's not easy. I have kids. I have to do homework with kids, all that, you know. Sorry. No, no, no. Instead, you should do this so it will save you time. Yeah, this I didn't have... No, it's not that. I'm, I know that I, I needed to put it on my laptop. Okay. What's up? What's up? For my classes, that's what we do. The entire class almost goes on using WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm going to download it now after it's this. Almost, almost no two ways. If you don't want to download it, you can do web, web WhatsApp. If you don't want to download it even, you can use this one right here, web.whatsapp. And you, you take it right there. Let me put it in the group. Oh, anyway. Any other question? Now, uh, apart from that, guys, let's all take off and we wish everybody well. Stay free from coronavirus. Stay home if you could. And uh, we online. Thank you, Professor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. So, guys. Thanks a lot. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. The, the DBA class will be in his next picture. Is good. Is where? See, I will join the DBA class. The next feature because I need to a job right now. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh. I I really like the cloud, the data. Yes, our next class is in September. Please, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying of you, right? Um. Yes. Thank yes. Who, wait, who's talking? I don't. Not do the talk. Oh yeah, yeah. Do yes, yes. I'm getting do. I just get to, after this, I'll go sit down, put all those things together and apply. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, guys. Yes, Enanga. Um, yes, I have some question in the, in the WhatsApp. Yes. Okay, let me see, Enanga. In the WhatsApp, let me go to WhatsApp and see there. Yes. In the WhatsApp, I see. Uh, okay, what was the question? I don't even see. Uh, I mean, WhatsApp group, but I don't see. Except it's just to me. What? This is the contact. No, before before the SCP, oh. I want to yeah. Oh, is that the uh, okay okay okay? Is that the on the uh, what do you call that again? Is that the screenshot? Yes. Okay. Okay. Put your put your yeah. energy and let me log in ahead and show you what what it is. You want to? Yeah. Let me help you put. What's your any desk number? Oh, okay. I I redo the I redo. Yep. The any date. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that I can log in and see what you're talking about. You got it? Just a few seconds. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm on vacation. You see? Wait uh, is... in the, where did you put it? Oh, 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 oh. I'm on vacation. Okay, this is the... I'm going on vacation right now for two days. <laughs> okay. your WhatsApp. I, I, I mean your any desk. Uh -oh. then, is... Uh, two, give me the number. 
Five. Why don't you just copy and paste, Nanga? You can copy that number and paste it. You don't have to type it. Uh oh. <laughs> when you copy and paste, you save yourself from errors and headaches. Copy and paste, copy and paste, for better off. That's the very name of the Don't go. Do you want to arrange it? Yeah. You type that or you copy and paste it? As the chuma, you said you could have one. Enanga. You know that? Merci for the information. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what where you were. Let me see what you were doing. Okay, that's gonna be here and it's good on top. Okay. Yes. So you do control C. Do control C. Oh, the line got disconnected. You con disconnected? Yeah, it disconnect. Okay. You uh, minimize this window. Hold on. So here, do control C. You come out of that. Okay. Control C. Mm hmm. Then you also repeat that one command again with your upper arrow and hit enter. So it tries to go to that place. If he doesn't find it, then it's going to hang. It's going to say, I cannot. You search this place or this place? No, 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 no. You are fine where you are. Just go back. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Back here. Mm -hmm. mm. Do control C again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't let your mouse stay. Hold on. You type SCP. I want to see if you have SCP. Okay, you do have SCP. So if we do, hold on, hold on, hold on. Enter the password. Oracle 1-1. One, one. Okay. And there you go. Downloaded the file. So, Down. oh, 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 and you're doing it in, no, oh, okay, I see now. You're doing it in the machine itself. No good. It's not I want you to do what to do it from, let, let your mouse go. CMD, your computer. There, your command line. Here. This way, it's supposed to paste that thing. Hit enter. Okay, enter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't write. Oh, yes. Yeah. Just yeah. type yes. I type yes. Yes. That's the, it's asking you say yes or no. So say yes. You don't write anything. Type. Why? You should be able to. Type yes. Y E S. Yeah, I do that. Nothing, nothing do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me try it from my side. Then. Oh, Hassan, again? Type Oracle 1 1, yes. Okay. I say permission denied, so it doesn't like uh, something. But that is the process. Even if you don't have it now, that's how it was supposed to go. So okay. Do that I, command. I Oracle. Uh, one one and you And just your. Uh, how come your computer is not typing? Oracle one one. Hmm. Type Oracle one one on your side again. Let me see. Okay. But that's the password of that user. Okay, I couldn't see that file. That's okay. Just hang on. Look, Control C. 
Let's do this. Ta means what? Enter star. Ta. How come I try star? It doesn't give it to me. This? Yeah. yeah, that. Hit enter. Enter. Mm -hmm. Oracle 1-1. One, one. Okay. Um, no. Search file. Search file. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back to... Oracle one one, enter that. Hmm. No permissions. What? Okay, just hold on. Hold on, hold on. I want to see something. I want to get just that file. I want to see why it says no permission. So if I copy that file and I go to Linux, I want to type LL, LL, enter that, shows me the file. We copy that file. Anyway, but that's a command in Naga, don't worry about it. You know how to do it now. That's it. That's how you, you the only need to know is this in Naga, that you can use this command. Copy a file from another computer to, to one computer. Oh, okay. I don't know why it's failing, but don't bother with that. Next time you need to use it, it'll be on a computer that's working for you. So with that, guys, yeah. I am gone. Yes. But Mr. Joseph, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> After you do all, uh, I need to go to CM, CM, CMD. Yeah, the product command prompt. Command prompt, and I do this this thing. I copy, I copy SCP. And yes. I just to do the password. Right? Yes, the password. So you're trying to copy this file from the Linux yes. machine into your machine. That's all that you're trying to do. Oh, okay. Yep. So don't worry about the rest of it. We are done. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yes, what sir. What I do to to Quit or I just go to yep. yeah. do uh, exit to so come out. Yes, sir. So yeah, like I, yeah, bro, I did mine. I got I got the files. Have a good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. Yeah, go rest. I got yeah. a file. I got a file, and then uh, when I when I run it, it opens it up. It opens it up. <laughs> Where, where are you running it from? Um, from uh, uh, my Windows command. Yes, you should be able to open the file. You open the file that has people's names in it. Yeah, it did, but you see, does it transfer it automatically? Because what I did was I right clicked on it and I went to file and I saved it as, and I went back in there. Is that you know, the process? Okay, so it's, yeah, it definitely saved it now. Yeah, it did. Yeah, but then I didn't follow the exact path. That's why I wanted to oh. and, uh, help me with it. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, okay, but that, that, that aside is okay, but I, I did the downloads and everything. I just wanted you to, like, use a quick second if you have the time. If not, I can call back. Let later. me look at that and see what's your uh, thing before I take off. What's your... Uh... I put it up there. I put it up in the free class right now. Okay. And it's here. So let me go. Click here and down. Go to the group here, paste that. Okay, let me see that. This is where you are. What are you talking about? 
I'm in your machine. Okay. Show me what you're talking about. Okay. Um, go here. And then uh, what I did was um, I ran the. Yeah, use your upper arrow. Repeat the command. Yeah. No. Again. Right. Yeah. That's what I download the file. So give me one one. Oh, so that downloads it directly, automatically? Downloads it into your machine, into this folder that says grip. Okay. So if you go to the folder, uh -huh. let's say you go to, that will be under C users, and that. Okay, 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 okay. So what about my downloads? Do you, do you see like what I've done? I pinned them, I pinned a couple of them on my tax bar and all that. Mm. Where? The apps, the apps on my desk. This one's here. So they, okay. So which apps? Um, I'm talking about the um the software downloading. Oh, the software. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Forget this guy. We we'll never use this guy. Okay. I don't care about that. This one. Uh huh. No, no, not even that one. It's uh, this guy. That's one you use. So you do notepad. This one, right? I do have it. Yeah, I do have it right here. Oh, you pin it already? Yeah, I pin yeah. it right there after the. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. So that's one. Instead of this guy, mm -hmm. you're using that one. Oh, okay. So I'll delete that. Yeah, you don't need this one. So you could do where's Pino on Pin anyway. Yes, yeah, so it's on Pin already. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Yeah. So that guy, yes. That one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This. And of course, everyday computer. What's your Zoom? A Zoom. Zoom yeah, is one that you use it, or if you're using it on here, you want to at least pin it on past mm -hmm. on, okay. on up there or even down there. Yeah. So it's one that you always go to. Yeah, I, actually, what I, what I did was on this new uh, new system, I do have the um, uh, uh, I don't I have the WhatsApp that when you put something, I can directly, you know, I use it for the command board and everything, and then I have the other PC which you know I mean. Uh, the old one, I'm just using it to kind of like uh, uh, view you, like go on the uh, Zoom. Okay, okay, for the Zoom thing. Exactly. So okay. I can just yeah, use they, yeah, the WhatsApp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. Only if something happens, they can use it here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So that is it. Then what about uh, Boom? I want to see this guy. You're missing something. I asked you guys to put here, which is the classroom something. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Hold on, let me see. I did not share this with you guys. What? That probably is not opening. Okay. Uh, what I did. Let's see. So, like, but you understood the purpose of this, right? Yeah, I did. Just say, whenever you're doing it hands on, put it here. Okay, okay. For example, we did that little script today. If you understood that you like it, you could copy that script and paste it here. Paste it, okay. You see, so don't begin to build up notes and go on someday you can review all of them and go backwards, right? So, yeah, is this thing? Oh, okay. Chrome. Yeah. oh, you have it already? Yeah, I already have it there. Cause what is it? What do I don't see here? Um, I think it's uh, let's the chrome when you click, let's let's go on a chrome. Well, I thought I could, I thought they go up here. Yeah. Extension. I don't see any extension up there. Uh, huh. yeah, I can see the move, which means it's there already. Yeah. But normally extensions are displayed. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Hmm. I have to figure out how to display my extensions. Okay. Let me see something. What? Oh, it's what, what? Why is this saying? Say this item has been disabled in Chrome. Which one? If you look on the top, the top uh, yellow. Mm, yeah. Okay. This 
is it now. Oh, okay, good, so, good. That's good. the only one. That's the only thing you have here in reality. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was the thing. So each time you, you come here, right? That's why I see all you, you put all the notes there too, right? Uh, yeah, but what about you see the classes that you are taking? You see that? Yeah, that, that's my that's my daughter, my little girls. Okay. Daughter. Yeah. This is this is our current class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you could come here and you just click on it and yeah, Baba, yeah I did navigate all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you could send something to me. If you want to send some note for me from there, you could do it there. Okay. Or if there is an uh, assignment that I put, they will show up here. Okay. So instead of you logging to things all the time, that's the whole thing. Okay. You can open the classroom okay. from there. And then about about our own uh, the Oracle, the database login, um, are we using the um, the standard edition, which I, I, I was looking at is? No, 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 no. We're using the enterprise edition. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that will come up later, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Awesome. So with that, I think I'm okay. I'm gonna go practicing on the what we just left up with and that. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep. 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 Okay, guys. I must go outside now. All right. You need to go enjoy the day. I've been. I know, here. right? <laughs> nice. Tomorrow, guys. Okay. Then. Tomorrow. 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 I must end that.